it seems to me what he did was, and he, he this, you have to remember that he didn't invent this. He had lessons with Alan Lewis, the chap we were talking about, who in turn had previously had lessons with George Van Eck. So the whole thing really could go, you could go right back to George Van Eck and this whole idea of three note chords. If, if you play like a six string chord, that's those are the sort of chords you see in chord books we're used to. It's alright for rock music. <laughs> But it doesn't resolve if you play that chord. You, know, you can't really resolve it and change it to make another nice six string chord. So if you, if you move up there to D, it just sounds horrible. It isn't smooth. However, if you play a three string um, A chord like that, I've got the notes I need the A, the f which is the root, the fifth, the E, and the third. Then if I want to change it to A7, it's really easy. And if I want to make it into a D, the notes from one chord move much more smooth, smoothly to become the notes of the next chord if you simplify the chords and play three string voicings as opposed to six string voicings because it's just it's simply not practical for jazz. You're right for other kinds of music, but for jazz it's hopeless. You want to be moving like... You know, 